Good day fellow hunters, this is Jared Lantern with another prop review video for you today. Today I am reviewing the Flying Vampirus from Forum Props. Vampirus, Vampirus, I think people pronounce it differently, but anyway this is just a uh, a new static prop I think for 2016. I've never seen it before, uh, I had seen it on a couple different sites and uh, I thought it was pretty intriguing looking especially for my vampire section of the haunt this year and it is pretty much life-size um, it is suspended from this large metal pole and uh, then it has like a wooden base at the bottom and I apologize for my messy floor you understand how houses can get when you're in the middle of doing a haunt but anyway Let's go ahead and take a look at the details of this prop. So first and foremost, looking at the face, uh, the head itself is made out of like a hard plastic material. Um, decent details, not the best paint job. Uh, Forum Props is not known for putting out the best uh, best props. Uh, I have a few of their static props. That's about it. But um, going down, it's like a kind of like a satiny material for the clothing with a little lace around the neck and then creepy cloth her hands are um, bloody not very well detailed again but some really cool um, nasty looking fingernails which are they feel like they're almost kind of like pl uh, rubber fingernails same on the other hand the Structure is basically just like a wire metal frame and then the arms are uh, uh, They're surrounded with foam and then they are uh, Posable so that the arms are pretty posable she is suspended from a uh, Pole that extends up to about I think about seven feet tall. So it's a pretty massively sized hookup here uh, and then her wrists shoulders back and ankles are all uh, suspended from these black strings so not exactly sure it's called a flying vampire so i'm not exactly sure what the concept is because she, she seems to be uh tortured and she has these fake hooks in all the connections to her body and back here also there's the back of the ankle there and then kind of the same detail from the hands are on the feet as well and while I'm down here, I'll show you the, the wooden base is two separate semicircle pieces that are connected with uh, like long metal plates. It is the prop itself, like she is probably about six feet tall. And um, very interesting looking. Uh, not, not the greatest detail, like I said, in terms of paint, uh, the paint job. But still pretty decent for uh, just a scary looking prop. And by the way, all these white tags that you see, as you can tell, they're not going to stay there. They tell you right there you need to cut them off. But I just uh, I just put it together really quickly. And so that is pretty much the prop. Like I said, it's a static prop. But I was actually messing around with the pole in the back earlier. And just by shaking it a little bit, I actually got some pretty good momentum movement of the prop um, and it kind of looked like she was lunging at people so if I have an actor in the vampire section I might actually have them do that as well um, once she gets some good momentum going the strings actually do kind of make it look like she's kind of moving well when her foot doesn't get caught her foot just got caught but when her foot does not get caught let me unhook her she actually has some pretty cool like flying momentum movement um, that I could definitely use in the haunt. Just, just a really cheap little scare. Um, for right now, I mean, she's so big that I'm not even sure how she's going to fit into the haunt because the vampire section of my haunt is rather small. Uh, but if I do put her inside the haunt, uh, I'm going to maybe uplight her with like a red spotlight or a red strobe light. And, um, but yeah, so... Uh, I didn't mention the hands are pl are hard plastic as well, same material as the uh, head. So, 
really, the apparatus in which she's hanging on is way more massive than the prop itself. Um, I don't know how necessary that is. I mean, it's necessary in the fact that she does have like a different kind of a pose as opposed to just like a, a regular typical hanging prop. So, you know, you definitely get that effect. And I appreciate that they, you know, tried something a little bit different. Let me back up a little bit so you can see the full view. So there it is from Forum Props. I got mine from uh, Jet.com for about 80 bucks. So 80 bucks, 80 bucks for a full-size prop, life-size prop. I think it's a good deal. We'll see how, uh, what kind of reaction we get from it in the haunt. Uh, lack of detail in the uh, paint, the almost unnecessary massive size of it, um, the lack of substance around the body. You know, like I said, it's just metal, a metal frame, not much else to bulk the character character up. Um, on a scale of one to ten, I'll give her a six. Um, otherwise I think it's a pretty cool prop, just, it's interesting prop, it's different, it's not a typical hanging prop, it's, uh, it definitely is a hanging prop, but just a different style, so, there it is, you guys, Flying Vampress from Forum Props, for this year's, uh, vampire section in my haunt, so there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, keep it creepy.